Hello, Airsofters. My name is Jose from ASG. Um, here I'm gonna, gonna be going through the assembly of a ASG Scorpion Evo. Uh, primarily, it doesn't matter which version you have. This is the regular version. Uh, you could have a carbine, BET, HPA. They all take apart the same, and they have uh, interchangeable parts between them. So I'll be going through the assembly of a Scorpion Evo. The tools you will need show you here it's going to be a two millimeter hex key and or hex screwdriver you'll need a three millimeter hex key or screwdriver as well you'll also need a six millimeter hex key or screwdriver and optional tools that I recommend um, it's going to be a flathead screwdriver and a plastic mallet or just something that you can use to tap parts. Uh, and I'll show you why you need those two in just a minute. So without further ado, let's get to it. So we're going to begin by taking off the hand guard over here. First you'll take off your barrel by untwisting and then you're going to untwist this as well your flash hider and then ah that barrel nut sometimes it could be screwed on really tight you're going to be going clockwise when you unscrew the screw the barrel nut right here there we go set that aside so now when you take off the the hand guard you're going to put a thumb on the charging handle and you're just going to pry it open like this it should pop off without any any real force. I'll put that to the side. Okay. Next, we're gonna take off is the um, sling hoop over here. Now you just take off that that way you don't lose it. Next, we're gonna do. Next thing we're gonna do is uh, take off the rear sight. As you see over here, we're just gonna take that off and screw. That way you have a easier time taking off the the stock and it doesn't impede you. So we'll put that here. Next, we're gonna take off the stock. We're just gonna fold it. All right, now you see over here, there's a spring guide that's actually holding in the stock plate in place. That way it's not moving. So here, you're just gonna take your six millimeter hex and you're gonna push in. And then you're going with the thumb, you're just gonna slide it up just a tad. Okay, that way, that way the spring guide isn't holding the, the plate anymore. And from there, you just slide on up and you take off the stock. <clears throat> now from here, you could take off the spring if you really wanted to or leave it on. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So in this case, we will take it off. So by taking it off, you just push in and you're gonna twist until it comes out. And just slide that right on out. We'll put the spring and spring guide separate. Okay, now you should have your scorpion look kind of like a, a weird pistol of sorts. Um, from here. We will now be taking off all the Allen screws you see on a Scorpion. And that's how you access uh, the hop-up unit and everything else. So we're going to use our 3mm Allen, Allen key, hex key. And we're just going to twist counterclockwise. Alright. So for other people, it will be tedious. Uh, for uh, if, if you don't have an electric screwdriver, it's going to be a little tedious. In my case, I do have an electric screwdriver, so I am definitely going to use that. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I'll have a link in the description below if you want to put put it back together. 
Anyways, we're going to begin with prying off the upper receiver now. So this is where the flathead comes in handy. It's a little stiff right here um, near the, the chamber of the barrel. So what I do is I put in a flathead and I just gently pry up like so. Oops, sorry if my hand was in the way. Just right here next to it up nice and easy doesn't take a lot of force you don't want to put too much force either because you could distort the polymer of the of the receiver so we'll put that aside now on the other half you don't want to be extra careful I don't know if the lighting you could see but there's a spring right here you're gonna to want to put your thumb Hmm, it's crappy lighting. There we go. You don't want to put your thumb right here. You're going to want to gently pry it off. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Now with your thumb in place, uh, uh, you see how it kept the spring and spring guide right over here? That way you don't lose it. A lot of people forget that there's a spring there and this thing will come shooting off and into the abyss and then you have to contact me later for a new one so you gotta be careful not losing the original now you have your bolt and your little fake bolt just slide it right off put it right over here for now <clears throat> all right so a disclaimer to everybody watching uh from here you can access your hop-up unit simply by pushing down on this this pin make sure it clicks into place and then you just remove the wires and slide it right out there you go easy peasy as I said the disclaimer is uh, basically you're not going to want to uh, do too many mods to the gearbox only thing authorized for your warranty is going to be uh, changing the bucking or the nub I guess in this case, this user wanted to tap on their barrel. That's uh, that's acceptable, I guess. It's nothing permanent. Oh, there we go. That's one way to get it off. Anyways, <clears throat> you can change your barrel, your bucking, your nub, and um, your battery connector to Dean's if you want to without voiding your warranty. However, if you start, you know, changing your gears and and uh, everything else, opening the gearbox, just to let you know that will void your warranty. Uh, that is uh, definitely not covered. So in this case, here's the hop-up unit. We'll just leave that for now and just pop the seat clamp off. Because in this case, I have to see what's wrong with the barrel. Anyways, <clears throat> we're going to continue on to a full disassembly. Uh, the next thing we're going to do... Oh, this one doesn't have a screw either. Okay. Should have looked at that before I did anything. Anyways, <clears throat> next thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the pistol grip right here. We're going to get the our 2mm Allen key. Our hex screwdriver. We're just going to untwist... <clears throat> The pistol grip screws on the side over here. All right. You're gonna want to keep these uh, domed screws separate. That way you don't get them mixed up. There's gonna be a few of them that are gonna look just like that. So that's why you don't want them mixing in together. So in this case, we'll just leave that outside. Now we're gonna go for the motor plate down here. I'm just gonna twist that on. All right, 
Excellent. All right. Now we're going to set these aside as well. To get the, the motor plate off, you, you can either pry with your fingers like this, or you can use a, a six millimeter hex key slash Allen wrench, whatever, and just pry it off like that. It will come off really quick. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice, everybody. Recovering from a cold. All right, so now we have the motor exposed. There's a configuration you want to put your motor back in. It fits the best, um, and honestly, it's it's going to give you less less hassle trying to see where the wires go. So we're just going to pry the the connectors off. Okay, and then we're going to get the we get the motor out. We'll put it right over here. Make sure to keep it separate from all the all the other screws that way they don't get bunched up together. Oh, sorry, I'm skipping ahead. Now there's gonna be four screws. Oh, let's see if it'll focus. Oh, I don't think it will. It's too dark. Anyways, there's four screws in here. That you can use your two millimeter hex screwdriver, and you're just going to or a long Allen key, either way, either one. Uh, you're just gonna twist these off. They shouldn't be too tight. And make sure to twist counterclockwise. These screws are also going to be domed, so it's very important not to get them mixed in with uh, your other screws over there for the pistol grip. I tend to leave them in the pistol grip, like so, or attach them to the motor. So now before we pull the pistol grip off, we're going to flatten the connectors right here, the motor connectors, and carefully unbend them, okay? Also with the red wire, it's going to be uh, bent a little bit. Make sure to straighten it out. That way you have an easier time taking off the the wires from the pistol grip. Okay, so now they're flat and ready for extraction. Okay, there we go, and there we go, nice and smooth. All right, so we're gonna leave the pistol grip over here. All right, <clears throat> so in this case, um, I guess they lost the the other hex screw that goes in here to keep the lower in place but anyways you're gonna get your two millimeter uh, hex key and you're just gonna go in there and you're gonna twist that off like uh, like everything else um, in this case they don't have one so it's just gonna come off like this there we go all right be sure to keep the, the hex screw um, with the lower, it's gonna be the shortest one out of all three. That way you don't <clears throat> mix them in. All right, now we're at the gearbox. The gearbox, uh, you're just gonna use a two millimeter hex, hex or Allen key all around. You're not gonna need anything else. <clears throat> so first we're going to take off that ambi gear over here. Just gonna twist it, twist it off counterclockwise. You're gonna take it off the whole gear. All right, be sure to keep the screw with the gear. That way you don't lose it. It's also domed. Make sure not to get it mixed in with everything else. Now we're gonna take off the other ambi, the ambi gear. This one will have a shaft, so it's easy to uh, differentiate. And we have the ambi plate over here as well. We're gonna slide that off and keep it with the gears. All right, sorry for the interruption. So now we're gonna keep this plate. Oh, we don't need to remove it at all. And we're just gonna keep it where it's at. Uh, what we're gonna do now is take off the sleeve. And this is where your flathead comes in handy again. We're just gonna gonna use uh, use a 
kind of just pry or not pry but bang <laughs> slowly uh chip away and get this this sleeve off all right so we're gonna <clears throat> just carefully and Why I do it is uh, I just go on the edge over here, like so, and then I just slowly tap it out while keeping a uh, firm, firm grip on the screwdriver head. So once you loosen it up from its position where it was at, you could just slide it off with your fingers. All right, if it's still too too tight for you, um, just continue tapping it out until you finally have it removed. We're gonna set that aside. Okay. So now we have uh, what is it? six screws to take off. In this case, you're going to use your two millimeter hex for all of them. And in my case, I'm going to use an electric screwdriver to take them off to expedite the whole process. Okay. So with the screws removed, we will just now pry the gearbox. You're just going to pull it straight up. The mock set has pins in it, so you don't have to really worry about, about it. Just make sure not to violently shake it or anything. I'm just going to pry it up carefully. So, there we go. So that's the, <clears throat> that's the gearbox, everybody. From here on out, you can work on it or mod it if you're out of warranty. Uh, like I said previously, before uh, going further on the, on the guide, this will void your warranty if you start doing any work to it uh, inside the gearbox. Um, if you're looking for parts, version 2, version 3 gears will work on it. Uh, look up on the forums. There's a good group on Facebook. People will happily answer your questions. And uh, that's it for now, everybody. Thanks for watching. There's uh, In the description, there's going to be the tools I use. Uh, also, uh, videos to how to put together the hop-up. And also, how to... Um, reassemble or assemble the gun back from this state um, thank you for supporting action sport games sorry for all the ums and uhs I know it gets on my nerves as well I haven't really rehearsed it it was kind of just out of the moment you know to try to help every all the EVA owners out there um, honestly that's all I have to say well thank you for watching everybody uh, stay safe uh, drink water when it's hot, play airsoft. Uh, thanks again, guys. Have a good one.